suspension. And to start, we're going to need a gallon of water in a bucket. So once you've filled your bucket with a gallon of water, you have to take one-fourth cups of glycerine. Okay, so once you have one-fourth cups of glycerine, you're going to have to pour it into your bucket of solution. Now you need half a cup of dishwashing liquid. Pour in the half cup of dishwashing liquid into your bucket of solution. Now once you've poured in your glycerine and your dishwashing liquid, take your large spoon and mix the solution thoroughly. You should let the solution sit for at least one day, but preferably a week because the longer you let it sit, the stronger the solution will be and the stronger your bubbles will be when you put in your wire frame. You're going to have to make your wire shapes out of your wire hangers like this one. So first you have to loosen this part. It will look like this, and now you can easily make your wire shape. Um, I'm going to make a square right now. So you just bend the wire until you get the shape that you want. You're going to have to twist the extra ends of it together so that there's no extra parts sticking out. Um, and now what I'm going to do is take a little piece of yarn, and I'm going to tie it around the part where the two... Um, ends meet so that the bubble solution can stay more trapped in it and it'll allow for a better bubble here. So once you've secured this corner with a piece of yarn, you can dip your wire shape into the solution and observe the sign. The whole scientific principle behind this is called surface tension. Um, surface, te surface tension is how difficult it is to break the surface of water, and um, this occurs because of water molecules' attraction to each other. Um, and surface tension reduces the amount of surface area um, so that you can see that this bubble here is as flat as possible because it's the, the surface area is reduced. So my ELA component for my project is I'm going to do a narrative essay so that people can relate better to surface tension because surface tension is a really common scientific principle in our daily lives. So with the narrative essay, I can allow us to better connect it to our lives and understand it better. So for my social studies connection, um, surface tension is reduced through the help of soap. And soap helps to get rid of dirt and germs and grime. So throughout history, um, soap is really was really important because it helped give it of germs, and germs spread disease. For example, in the Black Plague, um, it was a disease that was spread mostly because of improper cleanliness. And so through the help of soap, we have longevity, and uh, we have less germs. So it's been really important in saving lives. Thanks for watching Harmony School.